Welcome to the channel. Today, I want to talk to you about Aspinall of London. I have got three bags, which I have gotten over a period of, well, since 2019. Aspinall was one of those shops that I will see from outside how wonderful, how beautiful everything is, and I'll never go inside because, I don't know, you just felt like, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, one day I got the courage and I went in. Long story short, the sales rep was so nice and that is how I got my first bag. So it is going to be in the order of acquiration, if that's a word. And this is the first bag I ever got. Now I am going to be showing you the bags in the boxes because that's how I store them and that is tip number one from me. Keep it in the box because it's gonna hold better, it's going to maintain better, it's going to just feel luxurious and it's a pretty darn sturdy box. The lady was so friendly and then we got so comfortable, so as comfortable as to realize that we're both from the same country and we share the same birthday and it was like oh my gosh so basically that became my favorite my favorite shop because i now knew someone in there and i loved just going to have a look and obviously having a look became buying buying you know um but what i did do is like obviously see what i like and then go away think about it Think about it, think about it, think about it, watch some videos, think about it, look at the website online, think about it, and then finally I purchased. <laughs> and this is the large Lottie that I got. Um, honestly, it is divine. Like, I don't know what a Chanel feels like, but if Aspinall feels like this, and of course they have other colors, and i prefer the navy i could have got the black they have a nude they have browns they have other they have other leathers textures but i felt for me for my wardrobe a navy is better it's got gold chains the chains can be doubled up or worn as single so if it's single it gets longer um this bag looks amazing especially when it is full on the fuller side um it looks better in my opinion since 2019 this i've had this bag and it looks nothing like it looks new it smells amazing it's it's just really good quality if you are like the old me and you didn't want to go in and you're thinking well i'll just buy online well that leads me nicely to bag number two so after this first bag, the Lottie, I went and got another one, which is the Tote. And I had now two Aspinall bags and my mum came and she fell in love with the bag and it was obvious that I had to give her the bag because she fell in love with it. And I did, I gave her the bag. So I was now left just with the Lottie. And then my boyfriend, my lovely, wonderful, I'm not going to get cringy. Basically he got me, <laughs> he got me, um, he got me these two bags. This is the second bag we got, um, from Aspinall. I really, I really, really use this thing because it's, it's just not me. Uh, what we usually do though, what we do do over here is make use of this or you can just go solo by itself like this. I don't do this because I figure this requires more responsibility. <laughs> I prefer to have this hooked on. Boom, we're on. Why I was saying it's better to go in store. Number one, you build relationships. Number two, you collapse that wall that you have in your mind about it being, if you have that wall. And I noticed online, you can only put four letters when you're selecting the customer, the customization, which you can do. So mine has my name on it. 
to remember that this was a gift. If you go in store, they will give you more of a customized service because they will work things out with you. Online, you're just filling in a form. Last time I checked, they only give you four letters and they even say initials. In store, you can do a lot more. Um, and um, my, I put, my name is on there, it's six letters. I will say, I don't know if you can notice, I ruined it a little, yeah, there, right there. Can you see that? So the little OCD me came out and sprayed it with alcohol to sanitize it. Yeah, it's not bad, but obviously it's, it's like only why? Anyway, yeah, we did that. So don't do that. Um, do you know this is great for casual outfits it's it's weirdly wonderful it's it just like adds pizzazz to it just puts it together like whatever it is no matter how cray cray it looks hold this and you're good you're, you're now back to like leveled up honestly try it like whatever you're wearing hold this dangle this around with the, on the outfit and you you look you, you look like you, you knew what you were doing right from the beginning so this was the replaced bag, the tote, the one that mother took and then Bay was so nice enough to think and think, oh, well, let me gift another one. But this one is even better actually because it's got pink inside and he um, put our initials, me and him on, I'll show you. Let me just show you. Um, our initials, my boyfriend and I are here, which is something that he paid for when he was buying it for me as a gift again he went in store it's a beautiful bag it is big enough you can fit two phones and i have three phones you know because of work <clears throat> so but the pockets are thick enough to put two phones in one pocket and then one phone in another because you only have two spaces you have a zipped middle section you have a flat zipped towards one side so it's divided into two and um, you can also um, opt to put a phone charger in the bag. I don't know how that works, but I know that is an option. I hope this video gives you confidence. Um, I am, I am, I love my three bags, and I use them. I use them without hesitation. You know, like some bags are a bit too, uh, like my Bottega. I don't just grab my Bottega anyhow. I have to think. <laughs> I have to think, but with Aspinall, they're, they're very practical and very muted in their design and in their approach to how they craft their bags that they can, it can just, it's not loud. It's not obvious. And sometimes you need that type of styling. You need that type of design. And I appreciate that because it makes it very practical. And whilst being practical, it doesn't wear because it's really good quality. Of course, you have a responsibility to not spray alcohol like I did on your back. <laughs> You have a responsibility to look after it so that it doesn't obviously wear ridiculously, but I think you get what I'm trying to say. And uh, let me know what's been your experience with Aspinall. What's your hesitations? What's your thoughts? Do you have another brand that's comparable? That's equally as nice. Yeah. Yeah. Let me know that actually. I'm interested. Um, and so, yeah, I just thought this video was well overdue because I'm a beautiful lover of Aspinall and I have three bags so that I think it, it needed a dedicated video. So this is it thank you so much for staying to the end and i will see you next week sunday uk time Mwah.